welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Colorado Rockies going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And pitching in this one for Oakland, Ross Stripling. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look off, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. And a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. This one in the air, moving under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And, Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored, and you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which now this down the right field line, fair ball, should be extra bases. Rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay, and he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. one nothing. Picks himself up at RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now here is Lowry's Montero. Swing and a miss, strike one. 0 and 1. McMahon over at second, one down. And there's a ball. 1 and 1. And it's second. And there's a foul ball. A one, two. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball three. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Outside, and that is ball four. That is it. The center field number nine, Brenton. So one out with two aboard. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Barely hitting over the Mendoza line this month. Wouldn't chase that time. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And the pitch. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. That is it. The right field is the 12. John. Now, here is Sean Bouchard. Not one, close no with play. that one, and that's ball one. Two outs. And another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Whoa. 
kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. On to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Rocks with the run scoring double. It's now 1-0. Back here with my pal Singy, and on the hill in this one, Peter Lambert. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Abraham oh, Toro it. in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Lambert, a 6-2 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a slurb, and he occasionally uses a curve. Swings and misses. Ball, and it's a ball to strike. That oh, one sorry, missed. That's the 2-1. And he grounds one to the right side. Gets it to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Had time now to check out the A's lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slug and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Right side, hard hit. Tosses the first. Two up, two down. That is good. The designated hitter. Rooker. And now Brent Rooker. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Close one doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. Fought off foul. Two outs, bases empty. Gets to it with a slide. Throw to first, and very nicely done for the out. A's go quickly and quietly there. They're down 1 0. And we're back. Second inning set to go. So in now for Colorado, Jordan Beck. Stripling back to work. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. You know why Stripling has such a high arm slot? Well, he broke his leg in high school and couldn't play infield. So he was forced to adjust his throwing motion because of the cast on his leg. He changed his position and he never looked back. Fights it off, you'll see another. Up the middle, Gelong whips it to first on the run. Oh. One up, one down. Got it. The captain, Hunter Goodman. Next to hit, Hunter Goodman. Pitches in there. That's strike one. Hold one for the count. And oh, ball one. Bad. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. Mind, and that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's Daddy, umpire, but really consistent, eight, very fair. Alan Trejo. Next to hit for the Rockies, Alan Trejo. Here goes the runner. Come on and miss. 
on the second. Ow! Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. And here it comes. Ground ball right side. Slings to first. That's out number three. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Rockies one and the A's nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. And now here's the A's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Next pitch is outside. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. On the ground to the left. Tosses across oh, the first. Down. And a quick out number one. Got it. The first base. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. Foul ball there. Next offering is in for a strike. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And he deals. And oh. that's down and away. Down the line. And a foul ball. The A's trailing by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. On the ground, right side. Montero steps on the bag. And that quickly, two that away. Is. The second base. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Zach Gellar. Right through there for a strike. Now well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Oh, two is the count. The wind of the pitch. That one a little bit high, and it's one and two. One ball. Pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart. That's Look for something two. down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. It's in and out of his glove. But they get the it. out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Nothing across here this half. We play two full. It's the Rockies one, and the A's nothing. Here in the East Bay, new inning getting started. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Here comes a pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. In there at the knees. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Pitch ball. misses there. Two and one. Yeah, two balls, one strike. Hammer, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Next for the Rockies is the DH. Brendan Rodgers. 
First time up was a pop out. And he boots it. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. The bat, bat. The third base. Ryan. Ryan, Ryan McMahon. McMahon steps to the plate. Doubled his first time up. All one low. Counts one and oh. Tobar at third. Rogers on at first with nobody out. That Ball one inside. inside. Ball two. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Headed down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Just oh, missed. Out. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations, and right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Ground ball left side could be two. The throw to second. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killer. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here, so that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Elauri's Montero. And that one is lifted in the air on the move. Grabs it on the run, and that'll do it. But they push across one run on two base hits. No errors, and nobody left on. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Rockies two, and the A's nothing. And welcome back yeah, to the yeah, ballpark. Yeah. So here's the Brown right at the plate. Yeah. Brown. The pitch. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Fouled off. He was late. Fly ball down the line, and that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. And that's outside. Yeah, the count one and two. Up the middle, Trejo. Lead off and retired here in the third. Well, a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Next up, it's the first year shortstop. First pitch misses. And a good eye there. The Rockies leading by two here in the last half of the third. Right through there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Just missed. And the right handers 3 1. And a foul ball. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the right hander deals. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball lifted left field. He's got it two away now. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and up. wasn't able to stay close. Two outs, and base is empty. Next up for the A's, Este Yuri Ruiz.
A little nope, bit high. Ball. One and oh. And that's in for a strike. The line to kick the pitch. On the ground to third. And it goes just foul. Into center and a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Back to the top of the lineup, Abraham Toro. Up next for the A's. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Ruiz leads off first with two down to the inning. Lambert throws over. Ruiz dives back in safely. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So that's two straight two out hits. He was all over that one. Just that kept it simple. Oh, Played oh, pepper oh, with the middle of the infield. Yeah, yeah. Took it back where it came from. And yeah. there was just no one there to knock it down. This is J.J. Bladé. He's over one. it done in a big spot to get the run across. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Brent Rooker digs in now. Upstairs. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Tying run is in to score from second. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, it comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. So two down, and now a chance for Shea Langoliers. 0 for 1 so far. There's a strike. 0 and 1. Right-hander kicks, deals. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. One that ball. one not close. Right. And the count one and two. Tied up here in the early going. Tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back in Oakland as we go to the top of the fourth. So in now for Colorado, Renton Doyle. And the pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. 
Hard hit to third. Zips it across. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. The right field number 12. Sean. Next for Colorado, Sean Bouchard. Bouchard in his second season, 27 years old, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2017. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Beck. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Just missed. Ball one, no strike. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Ground ball left side nope, and foul ball. At the belt and fires. That nope, one misses. Outside. It's two and two. And a pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Headed for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. Three to two. Well done. Drives in the run. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel. And you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. One out, runner at second. And here is Hunter Goodman. One for one with a single so far. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Two down. The throw is wild and it gets away. The batter number 13. Second base. Allen. Allen Trejo digging in for the Rockies. He's 0 for 1. That's out to center field. Lede makes the grab. And that's the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And the home team down a run. Ready to go, bottom four. And here's the first baseman, Tyler Soderstrom. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That one finds the zone, 0-1. One, one. You know, these A's did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And that one in the air center field. Doyle puts it away. One away. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs now already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Digging in for Oakland, Zach Gellar. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. That one fouled off. The Athletics down by a run. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Oh, Up and in, and it's one and one. Here's the strike. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Hit 
In the air to left center. Beck sizes this one up. He's got it. There's two away. The bat. The right field. Seth Brown up next for the A's. In there at the knees. That's strike one. That's down and in. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The 1 1. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Doyle sizing this one up. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the Rockies' leadoff hitter, Ezekiel Tovar. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. All these Rockies doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They have yet to strike out, and they're averaging more than a hit per inning. That's a great recipe for success right there. Brown makes the catch. And there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Rodgers, the next to hit, takes ball one. Inside ball. One down, base is empty. Liner snagged it first. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Ryan McMahon getting ready to hit. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. This is important. Hey. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a oh, one, very two, positive sign for him and for his team. He'll one. Hey. Swings through two. that one. No ball, two strikes. Pitch misses. Now one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And yeah, the righty deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. <laughs> and a curve misses outside. Bounced out to short. Tosses to oh. first. It's a one, two, three inning for the Rockies. Rockies are down quietly, but they still lead it three, two. Here in the East Bay, and stepping in is the speedy number 12. Lambert back to work. Foul off down the right side. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. The wind of the pitch. Line, and that's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. No outs. Runner at first. Este Yuri Ruiz. Up next for the A's. Right through there for a strike. The Rockies leading by a run. Last half of inning number five. Line and a base 
Bush hitting the right. Well back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back base hits. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Abraham Toro, the next to oh. hit. Ball one, no strikes. First and second here, no outs. That clips the zone. And one and one. one, and one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a pitch. That's yeah. the outside corner with that one. Back to him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. That Whoa. misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Way to lay off that pitch down. And there's the ball. J.J. Bladé in the on-deck circle. On the ground, could be two. The throw to second is offline. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still definitely an error, though. Here's Bud Black towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Peter Lambert gives way. Not his best performance, but he leaves with the lead. And we'll get a new arm into the game after this. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Cal Quantra. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. So digging in, J.J. Bladé. Golden opportunity right here. We're going to foul over the screen and back out of play. Quattro back to work. And that one fouled off. Bases loaded, nobody out. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball. Perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up or something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Fouls it back with two strikes. Watch all ahead, one and two. Got him! And that is a big first out. Brent Rooker now at the plate, one for two. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. On the ground, two ball. There's one. Out. Got him. The double play cuts down the potential tying run. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. And we're back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Elauri's Montero. Fought off foul. The 0-1. 
And oh, the slider right. just misses. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Michael Kelly getting ready to go. Muller warming up as well. On the ground. Oh, and that's, that's just foul. The one two. Three. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Brady textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Now, Brenton Doyle grips one to right, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. In the air, right field. And that is that. Offense held a check there. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Rockies three and the A's two. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Bottom of the inning. Here's the, the Oakland catcher. cleanup hitter, Shea Langoliers. The pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. On the corner for a strike. pitch and a count one and two Quattro back to work gets a piece and stays alive and the pitch fights that one away still one and two righty to the plate Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball a little more straight and velo to it. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Tyler Soderstrom. First pitch just misses. Count one and oh. One down, base is empty. Foul ball there. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Now he breaks his back. McMahon fires across the diamond. Two up, two down. The second base. Zach Gillon up next for the A's. Looked yep. like it was a little bit up. Ball one, no strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. That's to third. Knocks it down. He decides to hold on to it. He's in safely, and now there's a runner at first. The right field, number 15. Seth Brown, up next for the A's. Brown. And there's a strike. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows all that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So 
If he can't do that, keep the line moving. A walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Two outs. Lifted in the air right center field. Bouchard drifts towards it. Squeezes it. And the inning is over. The A's strand one. They're down three to two. Welcome now, back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Michael seven, Kelly. Seven. And Michael. he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Jordan Beck digs in now. The left fielder, Jordan Beck. And he deals. Center field. Sizes this one up. And there's one down. Woo! He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Now, Man, out. this guy was ready to hit. Hunter. And here is Hunter Goodman. Goodman. Kelly, 31 years old, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. Just nope. missed. <laughs> Liner to second, it picked on the hop to first, oh. and there's two away. The batter is 13. Alan Trejo digging in for the Rockies. In the air, left field. Ruiz under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jake Bird. Well, he's now, been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. And the batter will be the shortstop. The line to kick the pitch. That one misses. Ball one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Tyler Kinley appears to be getting loose. Beaks, a left-hander, also throwing. And another ball. That one in the dirt. And that's ball three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. There's your strike. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Well, that right there could end up being a big walk in this game. He's certainly a threat on the bases, especially with them looking to tie this thing up. No outs, runner at first. Now the left fielder, Este Yuri Ruiz. Swing and a miss as he was out front. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Pitch misses there. One and one. to a one-run lead here the bottom of the seventh. That misses, and it's two and one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. 
Looking to get the tying run on base. Smoked on the ground a second. In plenty of time to first, and he's out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Abraham Toro. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. Kicks and fires. Sliced hard, but foul. Oh and two now. Fights it off. He'll see another. Got him swinging. Top of the eighth. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. The pitch. And that will fall. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. One for three. Pass ball for a strike. Going one. Tovar gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Next one just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, uh, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. And a ball and two strikes. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Get out of town. That's one way to quiet the crowd. It's 5-2. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets to jog around the bases. Good for him. And now here is Elauri's Montero. And that one lifted in the air center field. Makes the grab for the second out. The center fielder, number nine. Two Brenton outs, bases empty. Doyle. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Swings through that one for strike one. Well, that's that slope oh, right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swings hey. through that one out in front that time. Wow, no, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pit. Bases empty, two away, but two runs are in. And we're at the top of the eighth. That one, one just misses. Really good one take, especially with two down. strikes. Yeah. 
They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. And the right-hander deals. That one the other way. And it goes just foul. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. It's now 5-2. Back after this on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tyler Kinley. Power slider guy, Boo. He throws now, it hard and gets a lot line. of late movement, so Number it's tough to pick up. Tyler Kinley. So digging in, J.J. Bladé. The A's in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boo, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Just oh, off the outside edge, and it's one to know. Activity in the bullpen. Justin Lawrence getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Left hand hitter waits. Ball, that's inside. No, that pitch not even close. A 2 0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. And a good eye there. Well, it's critical right here that they pair down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Let's see if he gives them anything to hit ball here. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't hey. offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And here it comes. That's the ball. One ball, one strike. The Athletics trailing by three. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next pitch is outside. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Now this is in the air down the line. And that's a foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here. And that one hammered Bouchard. Ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, I think the wind ended up being a factor right there. It's whipping in from right field right now. So otherwise, I think that ball's out of here. Next up for the A's, Shea Langoliers. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Ball one there. Ball one, no strike. Man at first, one away. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And now 2 and 0. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. And a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in.
Right-hander kicks, deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Bam. That's the second out. Oh, tough night at the dish. Oh, Punching out for the third oh, time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little oh, unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. in there strike one here's a run scoring opportunity you definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier you get to the ninth you get a lockdown closer ready to come in the pitch ball one Right side. Fires over to first. That is the inning. One left for Oakland. They trail at 5 2. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Austin Adams. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Sean Bouchard digging in for the Rockies. The white right number 12. Sean Bouchard. And a pitch. On the ground to short. Rolls across the diamond. Now one gone in the ninth. The batter. The left fielder. Jordan. And now it's going to be Jordan Beck. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Adams is what you're looking for in a good reliever. The ball stays in the ballpark. It's so hard to square him up. And it's fouled away. Yeah, he stays out of the middle and, and pitches either at the bottom or at the top on the edges. And because of that, if you do get it in the air, it's usually just a high fly ball. And when it's down in the zone, it's on the ground. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Number 58 up and throwing. Muller also throwing. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. He's so consistent that the manager basically could look at it like he's got three outs sitting in his pocket. That shorts the game. Another one, two. Ball up there. Just okay. off the inside edge. When he takes the mound, you feel like, hey, this inning is wrapped or this ball game is over. He's just that good. And you can see it in opposing hitters as well. Now and that's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Runner on at first with one gone. Next to hit for the Rockies, Hunter Goodman. Just missed. They know when he comes in, pretty much forget about it. Kind of reminds me of Mariano Rivera. And that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner around second. The throw in. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Digging in. Alan Trejo. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Adams 
He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big time benefit. Next Whoa, offering is down low. Now, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter if he's prepared for it can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And a base hit up the middle. In comes the run from third to add on. It's 6-2. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Now here is Brendan Rodgers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. First and second, two down. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Two on, two outs. <laughs> and down on strikes. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 6-2. You're dialed into the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Ryan Feltner. And now compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Zach Gellar getting ready to hit. The second baseman. The pitch. Hot shot to third. The throw to first, one out, bottom of the ninth. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. He's two outs away. And now the right fielder, Seth Brown. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. Inside just missed. Bounce to third, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So, man aboard. Here's the shortstop at the play. down the line. This looks like extra bases. Coming home. He scores. It's six to three. He's in at second with a one-out double. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Justin Lawrence. 
He last pitched two days ago. For the Rockies, number 61, Justin Lawrence. Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. In there for strike one. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Righty delivers to third. McMahon. Oakland down to their final out. Now have the third baseman. Abraham. Down the third baseman, Abraham Toro. using six pitchers in this ball game to get the win outstanding job of passing the baton the next pitcher stepping up and getting it done you got to give him a lot of credit because this is not easy to do we'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days six three our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chambi saying so long